go. Here we go. Dad, do you think we're gonna have to go together? Because there's only four. There's four. I seriously hope we're gonna have to go together. No, we're just riding on our own. We're off. That sounds like coming. They were just no. We're just. They said the Campbell's all the way. The Campbell's all the way. Yeah. No way. I come first time. No, we're <laughs> we're doing that. No, I come first one. <laughs> That's not true, is it? Yeah, the camel's all the way. We just get on and go. No. It's like no control. I've seen gladness. I've seen sorrow. I'll tell you a story of a new tomorrow. With the camels we have, they has Wi-Fi also. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Don't worry. Oh my god, I'm so high. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> oh my god, my butt cheeks are are so tight. <laughs> Mine doesn't want to stand doesn't up. get up. It's on lunch break. So this is gonna be our next two days riding on these guys. I can't wait to see how far we're gonna go and what we're gonna see. So our plan on this thing is we're gonna be going to a tent situation. I don't even know what it's gonna look like, but at the end of the day, we're looking for the super authentic experience that what we've come here for, and this is just so much. I, I can't believe we're doing this. When we started off on the RV adventure, this is what we pinned on it for. As much as it was for Europe, uh, Morocco was a big thing of it, and this is now the quintessential moment of all Moroccan experiences, and um, we're, we're really excited. That's, that's a good thing. <laughs> How's it going, Largo? It was awesome. The way, like going upwards, it was like a roller coaster going down and going up. Like this, the feet down here, uh -huh. it was like going up. I'm so glad you went first because you prepared me. I was a little nervous after your scream though. This, uh -huh. during this trip in Morocco, my favorite thing we have done is rode the camels. Anything with animals is amazing. You're probably gonna fall off your camel right now, Dad, since someone looks at it. So Largo's camel wants to be right beside me. I'm getting flashbacks from my days on the horse when one of the kids had a, a horse that kept trying to get past mine. Remember that, Largo? Yeah. And they were kicking and fighting. Fun. I think the camels are a little more passive. As long as he doesn't spit on me. Hey, Alice, how you doing? Fine. You want a camel? Yeah. <laughs> Downhill, you ready, Alice? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I better hold on. Oh. <laughs> Downhill's a little rough. I just bang that when it's all over the place. camel rider <laughs> so we've been on here for about an hour and 20 minutes and the sights are amazing what makes it so cool is that there's like about we've seen like seven or eight groups of different camel riders and they're all pretty much following the same path but by the time you get to where they traversed all the all the footprints are gone because the sand has just been wind gusted over this right over there's where the tents are this is going to be such an epic night. And we're all done for the day, guys. What's up? My camel doesn't want to sit down. <laughs> yeah, my camel's not down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is it weird going down, Alvin? Yeah, it is weird. You like go forward. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's quite sudden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're checking for our tent to the, for the night. I don't, I don't really know what we're doing yet, but. <laughs> but we're about to find out. Hello. Hello. 
how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, how are fine, you? thank you. How do I see? Camels, dance camels. Oh, that was awesome. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, baby! Yay, oh. Africa. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, merci, my hands are freezing. So we just arrived, and it, I'm pretty cold, my hands are freezing right now, and they had tea ready for us and snacks, and now we're gonna go to our room in the tent. Very excited. Oh my gosh, look at this. He's like, what's going on? Well, this on? is nice. I think we made the choice going for the tent that that only can, I think he said up to 20 people could be in here as opposed to 50. I think I misunderstood something. Yeah, this is nice. This Ooh, is nice. It's cold, shut the door. We we definitely well, had no idea what kind of tent we're gonna get when we Well, I had, sort, we of, this I had sort of an idea. I really wanted a full Berber experience, but they told us that if we wanted that, we would have to be in a tent with like a hundred people. And I thought, mm. we're already hiking the Camino in June. And we're going to spend in gonna bunk houses for about 60 days. So we kind of wanted a little no. romantic, well, with the, kids. with the kids and, and sunshine <laughs> over here uh, weekend. So we opted for something upgrading a bit. And I had no idea it was going to be this upgraded. I thought we were at least going to be in a room with 20 people. He what mentioned I, that was a possibility. I had no idea that we're going to have a shower in here. I bet he upgraded us because we're, we're YouTubers. I bet you he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Jess, what do you want to do next? Go slide on the dunes. <laughs> what? Go slide on the dunes. I think Go he slide asked on me. the dunes. Me. <laughs> Come on. All right, all right, all right. Bye -bye. Oh my God. Okay, Largo. I just chased you down the entire Sahara Desert for this. You ready? Whoa! Okay, I'm doing my backpack. Not what I expected. Now there's sand in my pants. That's not good, Largo. replicate this between riding the camels and then now the kids being so excited to do this I, ha I have to say that Europe we're not going back of course we're going back and this place really just makes me think about what we're trying to do with our kids and trying to get the experiences and the life and just the imagination of what traveling the world does for you this is this is amazing I mean look at these kids it's nothing but sand and hills and and culture and and we're just we're just we're so thankful and we're grateful. Oh, water! Water! Lucky for water! Dad. Oh my gosh! I can eat a camel. No, no. four camels. That's our only way back. We can't eat the camels. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's our first morning at um, camp, and Still we woke so up. Tired. Avon's tired. I slept fantastic, and Will is sick, so he thinks it might have been either his salad or her bouchette from yesterday at lunch. He's the only one that had it, and the rest of us are feeling fine. So it's not dinner last night. Mm -hmm. So we might be doing this alone today. So. Don't judge me too harshly. This is my first time doing it by myself. Avalon and Laura are gonna help me. They're gonna carry the small camera. I'm gonna do the big one and we'll see how it goes. Do you think we can do this without daddy? Nope. Uh, maybe. Oh, come on. We gotta make him proud. Can we do it? Really? Everyone's gonna have their own camera. We gotta practice steady cam, right? On the camels? And I know, it's gonna be hard. We're gonna have to stop often. I'm, I'm glad we took our group picture yesterday. Yeah. So you think we can do it, right? What? Right? Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Only maybe? Yes. Still maybe. All right, here we go. Can you tell me how you get the water here? The water here, we get just in the well. In the well? Yeah. Was it the well that we passed on the camels? Uh, no, we have just behind here. 
at seven meters, we have water. Seven me only seven, seven meters. meters. Yes. And why? why? Why these dunes don't move when the storm wind here in the desert? Because a lot of water down and the water takes sand. Oh, it's so like a oh. here, right? so this is why you put the tents right here because yeah. the sand doesn't move here. Not move no. And there is a lot of nomads also in this area. On this area, okay. Yes, Will yes. we see them today? Yes, we'll see them. Oh, yes. cool. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Will has stomach issues this morning. Ugh, I'm not feeling that well. We've been here for, what, five weeks now, and we pretty much eat anything. We don't drink the water, um, but we've been eating the vegetables and the salads and stuff because you can't be someplace five weeks and not eat the stuff. And no one's gotten sick yet. We don't think it was last night's meal because no one else is sick. I don't so, know what it was. might have been his lunch from yesterday. I may have to force myself to go uh -oh. purge so I can enjoy the day. Before you get on the camel. Yeah. We can do this without you if you need a break. I know. I'm, I'm scared, but I think I can do it. Right, Largo? We can do this, right? This bed's really comfy, though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, Will. Aww. Are you okay, honey? <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I think everyone in their tent can hear this now. Ugh. And he emerges. Oh my gosh. Can you do this? Yeah, we don't come here for nothing. Um You're a serious world towner. I mean, I don't even know what, what I would do if I missed this day. You I, threw up. I'm really excited about this day. And you're still here. I mean, it's just throwing up. It's oh, not the other world. God, I'd be in bed crying for my mama. All right, we're going to go see a Berber village. Another one on camels. <laughs> it's fun. It is fun. So we're going to start this day with a... Uh, the, the, a two-hour camel ride. We're gonna go enjoy the Sahara in the sun. Is there a song about that? All right, Will. You can do this, baby. You can do it. You can do it. Largo, how you doing? Good. I bet you didn't think you'd be on six hours on a camel. What do you think? Are you sore? A little. A little? Not only is Will really sick, but his, his inner thighs are hurting. Are you okay, Will? Everyone's body's hurting a little bit today. So day two on the camel. And it's significantly hotter now. Oh my gosh, yeah. What we're finding out is that... My butt hurts! Day two is not like day one. <laughs> day one is full of excitement and joy and exhilaration. Day two is full of soreness. And in my case, I'm feeling kind of nauseous. One thing is being awake and being out of bed after you just go ahead and purge yourself because you want to make yourself feel better, but then churning with the bumping up and down a camel, there is, I don't, know, I don't know how much I'm going to last on this thing. I think I'd be happier just guiding the camel trail and walking. But we're here in the Sahara, and so we do the best we can. Okay, we just had to take a small break. I'm really not feeling that well. Yeah. Abs, he's sick. Do, do you think we should go back? No. Really? Continue. You just threw up a ton. I know I did. You really want to continue? Yeah. So Will is officially walking because he feels better walking and he's hanging out with the guide and he just realized the guide speaks Spanish. So now they're having a good old chat. So, is there, are there a lot of people that throw up on no. this? Yes. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh, do you want to get on the camel and I can guide? No. You want to take a break? No? You want to ride? I'll walk? Yes, it's the yeah. walk. Yes, yes. We made it to lunch. Wow. So last night we came in and we had like close to a two hour ride on the camels and by two hours we were ready to get off. We could barely walk. And then we got up this morning and we just took another almost two hour ride on the camels to have lunch in a small Berber village out in the desert oasis. And that was the longest two hours on a camel. 
<laughs> we are all super beat. Here's Will over here. Will, how you doing? Will, how you doing? Really not good. You're not good? No. You know, we could probably get one of those Jeeps to take us back. He offered. Like he did offer? Ago, like an hour ago. And do you want to take a Jeep back? Um, I can go back on the camels with the kids. We'll see. Honey, there's no shame in that. You've thrown up like four times. You're we'll weak. See. We'll see. This is definitely authentic experience. We met people at the camp where the tents are that we're staying in that just came in on a, a four, uh, like a four by four truck and then went on, I don't know, a half an hour sunset camel ride. And we were going for the whole like six to eight hours on a camel in less than 48 hours. I guess that's how we roll. We are all beat. We're sick. We're all tired. We feel like we're going to pass out. I don't even know if we're going to make it to dinner tonight. And there's no service. But I, our guide has cell service because I saw him on his cell phone while he was walking our camels. So I think that's, then that's a great reason to have this evacuation insurance, right? What should we title this, this vlog? Sick in the Sahara. Sick in the Sahara. Oh my gosh. Yeah, still enjoying it though. You're it a trooper. I really appreciate the nomads who used to come about and travel around this area. I tell you what, those guys are tough. We are at the Berber camp where we had lunch and we're waiting for our guide. We've been here for quite a while. But I think he lost the camels. He did. You think so? I don't, it's so weird to me because we've seen several gentlemen lose their camels, like their camels start taking off, but I can't understand why they don't tie them up. Maybe there's a reason they don't tie them up. I, mean, I guess if you're in the middle of the desert, right? But if there's a tree, I'm not understanding why they don't tie them up. Maybe it's against, maybe they feel like it's inhumane. I don't know. If he doesn't come back, do we spend the night? Do we no, start washing? We, should, we need to have, we can probably like t ask that guy if he could like rock us there. We'll give him some money if he does. Or it's you at could least call a two a hour walk. You, or you could we call don't, Van. We don't have cell phone van. service. I'm not going for a walk. Oh, that, I don't think Will's well enough to that's a, that's a That's a really bad news article <laughs> waiting to happen in like the nationwide, in the U.S. newswire. No. Lost in the Sahara. Lost in the Sahara. We don't have cell phone service. We have nothing. So. Idiot Americans get lost in the Sahara. They didn't they wait. They think they can walk back to camp <laughs> without their camels. On, honestly, we'll just sit here and wait. Yeah. He's here, finally, after waiting and waiting and waiting. Largo, we're glad we got our camels back. Yeah. Yeah. And with that, we are leaving. We are... I've never gonna be, I'm, I don't think I've ever been so happy to see my camel, Tajin. <laughs> I am super excited to get back because... Because you thought we'd be spending the night. Because, well, I'm just, actually the added time made me feel a little bit better. I'm glad. Hi guys. We missed you. Where you been? They went for a little walkabout. <laughs> We finally made it. Oh my gosh, lemonade? Messy. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have this cookie right here. <laughs> okay, so we survived the six hour, which was supposed to be a four hour camel, which, trek. camel trek. We don't mess around. When we try something <laughs> new, we don't do the little sunset cruise for half an hour. We go all in. Like, I think we're gonna take a camel trek just across Morocco next thing. What do you yeah, think? I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, well, here's, I'll say it once and I'll say it again. This stuff's hard, man. I was, you know, I was looking back at Will because it's just the weirdest thing to think this is what we're doing and you're sick. And you're, would, you're a trooper. I would not let you guys go without me. You are a trooper because I would have been crying and saying, I want my mommy. Like, I, I don't do well when I'm throwing up. I, you know, I've had a lot of experience throwing up. <laughs> <laughs>
morning from our last day here in the desert. We are, we're tired. Yesterday just wiped us out, but we're gonna try and get it sort of all muscled up because we've got to get back. We've got a two hour camel ride back and we got a whole lot of photos we still have not taken. Yesterday with me being sick, it just did not work out. No one was in the spirit. We're all just like going, oh my gosh, we are, we're better now. We're better now. I, I'm a little better now. I gotta get some food in my stomach. I've had no food for like, 48 hours now, but Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good. Um, this looks really good. I don't know how much I can eat though. Alan, what are you going to miss about this place? Not the flies. The camels. <laughs> I'm going to miss my camel. I'm going to miss the camels. Oh yeah. We've spent a lot of time with those camels. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're friends. I feel like we should take them with us to Spain. So what do you guys think about this experience? It was, it was awesome. Fun. It was awesome. Do you want to take a camel home with us? Maybe. Yes. We should take either Mom's camel or Mr. Sniffles, which is Largo's camel. They have such big personalities. Or um, mine, yeah, mine, because it's, I feel like mine's younger. Do you think the camels will be good house pets? No, they make too much poo. Oh, look at the sun again. You know, uh. This has been one of the most interesting experiences we've ever had. I know that, um, first of all, I don't know if I could ever replace the beauty of this place or the sounds of the camel, but I do know that this is something that um, if you get the opportunity, you have to try and do because I don't know how many picturesque places like this in the world do exist and are basically still untouched like they are right now. We are going back from the trip. This camel ride is actually relaxing. Sorry for the shaky cam. All right, Avalon has, has become such a professional camel rider that she She's doing all kinds of poses on the camel. I think we're topping out about eight hours on a camel for two days. All right, and we're almost back. I can see Lemonade. She's standing, sitting, hanging out right over there. Please don't spit on me. Oh Goodbye. my God. My legs are so cramped up. Sunshine's back. Right by yourself? We are back at Lemonade. I'm not gonna deny, guys, that we had some bumps along the way. We all know what happened with Will, the camels were lost, and this is what I'm gonna say at the end of the day. These things happen. People get sick, people get robbed, flights are delayed, it happens. You know, you get food poisoning wherever you travel, and even in your home country, things like this are gonna happen. Don't let it derail you. Morocco has been fabulous. We've had a great time. All of this will probably happen again another day, and we'll just push through it and make the best of it. So, on that note, subscribe, comment, tell your friends, and come ride a camel, because it's that cool. So, Largo, is there anything interesting or different about the... Oh, I dropped the case! I dropped the case! Oh my gosh, I dropped the case. Oh shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Will and I keep dropping stuff left and right. Oh my god, this, this poor guy's gonna hate us. 